Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Schooling Lady and I hope you have absolutely fabulous day. It is Monday, so it is time for personalized card. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this very cool birthday shaker card for a baby boy. I'm going to use Crafter's Companion Box number 21 called Build a Character. And for today's project, I'm going to use that beautiful tiger animal and also some design papers from the box. I thought it would be a really good idea to create some of the elements matching the tiger colors. So that was the thought behind and I'm going to show you all the steps how to create this card. I had a look at my stash and I chose one of the balloon cutting dice. This one is pretty small but it would be perfect if you want to put initials or letters of the name for a recipient. So I thought, why not? So I die cut four of the balloons in very light yellow and darker yellow. And then with that beautiful hard design, I've got the bigger balloon as well. But to turn it into a shaker card, I die cut the bigger one with acetate as well. And then I found the slightly smaller. And we're going to create the panel that will go on top using 300 GSM white card and it is time to cut the background paper i just wanted to make sure that it will fit on seven by seven inches card base and to make a nice frame that will match the balloons i use that darker yellow because i want all my elements to match beautifully and i do wonder how often do you create cards for babies? Please let me know in the comments down below. I also wonder when it's first birthday, do you actually have some traditions for that occasion? In Poland, we do celebrate as a whole family. And for example, the baby is giving a couple of objects they have to choose. And whatever they choose, that actually tells us more about their future. So for example, if they choose some coins, it will mean that they won't really have that much money in the future. But if they choose notes, then yes, they could be very rich in the future. We've got a couple of more objects to choose from, but it really is a nice thing to do as a whole family. As you can see, I stamped that log and to color it in, I decided to use zig markers because I use waterproof ink by Spectrum Noir. And first I started with that darker color and using my lighter color, I do have some shadows and highlights on the log. It is time to fussy cut it. In the box, you don't have a matching die, but that is not a problem. The log is super easy to cut. So yes, it will be ready for our card. And if you do make cards for babies, what theme do you usually go with? This time, I decided to create a tiger card, but maybe you use some flowers or other elements. Please let me know because I'm really curious, because I'm going to create more cards for babies in the future, and I'm looking for some inspiration. As you can see, um, I actually used that topper sheet, and I just pulled it, but it also has those small notches, and to make it very professionally finished, I'm using my scissors to cut them off. Super quick, easy, and they'll be perfect for my project. Now it is time to assemble the tiger together. As you can see, I starting with the body and the hands, and it is time to add some feet, and then I'm also going to put the tail and the head. But to make sure that everything stands out on the card, I'm also going to use some double-sided foam adhesive, because why not? It is a card for a baby, and we do want that child to actually have fun with that card. So, I'm not going to stick it yet. First, I'm going to decide where exactly to put my tiger. And I thought maybe on the left, but then I decided to put that tiger exactly in the middle of a card. So, I can keep the four balloons on the right-hand side and the bigger one on the left-hand side. And just to make sure I've got a little bit more dimension on my log, I'm using double-sided foam adhesive in some parts. It is a super easy way to make sure that your elements stand out. And also, I am going to use the same double-sided foam adhesive for the tiger, but I really want it to be super dimensional, so I thought let's use two layers 
especially for Tiger's head. And I really like how this card turns out. As you can see, I haven't used any of this dressing on the edges of my background panels because it is a card for a child. So I thought maybe not in this project, but I was very tempted to do it. Now I'm going to put two layers of double-sided foam adhesive on the head and as you can see I've got some space at the bottom of the head because I want to use liquid glue and attach it to the body and this way everything will be stuck exactly where it should be. When this is ready, as you can see I'm using my pokey tool to peel off the backing of my double-sided foam adhesive because it is the easiest way to do it. And if you want to make sure that these elements are adhered for forever, use a little bit of liquid glue. And as usual, I've got my liquid glue, one and only magic glue. To add a little bit more dimension and interest to the balloons, I'm going to use Distress Oxide Ink in Mustard Seed. I love it. It doesn't really need that much but it really makes a difference. Now it is time to put the name of our recipient and I'm going to use Tattered Lace, Elegant Alphabet and I die cut the letters from Gold Mirror Card. And again, I'm using my one and only liquid glue, magic glue to put those letters together. And I really like the variety of yellows um, of the balloons. And if you do make cards for the kids, please let me know what is your preferred color combo. Please, please, I really want to know. Now it is time to attach a string and just to make sure that it will last forever, I'm going to use red liner tape 3mm and this way the string will be adhered and even then you can use few drops of liquid glue and it will work perfectly. I absolutely love making cards with balloons because I think they're just so cheerful and literally every single child loves balloons. I don't really know why, but they like it. If you know why they actually like balloons so much, let me know in the comments down below. Now I'm using my pokey tool to peel off that red line that say backing and I'm attaching the string. You can literally use any thread or string from your stash and just to make sure this is secure enough I'm going to put a little bit more red line of tape on top and I'm going to just leave it. I'm not going to peel it and later on to add a little bit more dimension to the balloons as well I'm going to use double sided foam adhesive because why not? If you make cards for children, it doesn't have to be completely flat. Make it fun, make it beautiful. Let's make sure that actually the children enjoy those cards as well. And if you run with that card and shake it, then it means you did amazing job with your card. And I do wonder, if you made a card for a child, have you actually ever created a shaker card? If you have, what shape the cheese. As you can see for this card, I decided to go with the balloons, but if you have different idea, I would really like to try it. Now it is time to create our shaker card, but just to make sure that our balloon matches with the smaller ones, I'm going to use exactly the same mustard seed, distress oxiding, and using my ink blending tool, I applied the color here. Super quick, simple, but it really makes a difference. And as you know me, I don't really like block colors, so actually using that ink blending technique, you have some darker pieces and lighter pieces at the same time. Now I'm going to use my red liner tape in 3mm and I'm putting it all the way around our balloon frame because I want to attach acetate and I found that red liner tape works really well with acetate. And first I burnished that tape with my pokey tool and then I peeled off the backing. And our top of shaker element is ready, but we have to add a little bit more things to it. And again, I'm burnishing that double-sided uh, red liner tape and it's very crucial because we don't want those shaker elements to go away. Now I'm trimming the excess of the acetate balloon. Probably you can't really see it in real life because acetate is transparent, but that's absolutely fine. Now it is time to add double-sided foam adhesive. And as you can see, I don't have it in a very narrow 
uh, type, so I have to use my scissors and cut it. But that's not the problem, because I've got really good scissors from Crafters Companion, and what I really like about them, you can use any double-sided tape or double-sided foam adhesive, and actually it doesn't stick to the scissors. That's why I use them so often. Now it is time for some sequins, and as you can see, I bought really big box for it in the circular shape from the works and that's where I keep all my sequins. I do wonder how do you store your sequins? Please let me know in the comments down below. Just to make sure that everything is adhered properly, I'm using a few drops of my liquid glue and I'm going to attach our hard balloon and our shaker element is ready. And I do recommend to wait about 5 minutes before you do any shaking. It is time to attach a string and it's exactly the same one as I use for the smaller balloons. And I'm using just liquid glue. And it is time to make sure that our tiger holds the balloon. And I'm going to use a drop of liquid glue. And just to make sure it goes really well. Underneath, I'm using my pokey tool. Now I'm going to use card making magic, and I'm going to use that number one and die cut it from gold mirror card, so it actually matches the name of the recipient. And again, I'm going to use my one and only liquid glue to adhere it on the balloon, and our card would be finished. But there is one more thing we can add, and this time I'm going to use some green pearls in two corners. And our shaker card is finished. I do wonder, what do you think about this? If you have ever made a card for a baby boy, please let me know what animal or other element you chose. Thank you so much for watching and spending that time with me. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Bye!